Assalamu alaikum. I'm super excited today. Why? Because I have techpreneurs sitting with me. SN Imtiaz. SN Imtiaz has done his computing degree from Lancaster University, UK. He is associated to three startups. One is called GameStruck, the second is called Narsan Studios, and the third is the, the Cloud City Game. Am I right, SN? Cloud City Metaverse. Sorry, it's Cloud City Metaverse. Metaverse. Yeah. Welcome, Essen. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good too. So, Essen, um, as the last uh, your startup, hai, it has metaverse in it. Yes. So, I would like to know about it. What is metaverse? So, <clears throat> in layman, layman's term, I've, I explain metaverse as a virtual world mm -hmm. where uh, there's no cap on imagination. You can be anybody you want to be, anything that you want to be. Because in the physical world, there are, there are obviously limitations. Mm -hmm. But imagine in the virtual world where there are no limitations, there is no cap on imagination. You can literally imagine anything and maybe the next day it might be there. So that is how I explain a metaverse to somebody. Great. So uh, this is metaverse uh, AI embedded? <clears throat> yes. So uh, our, the Cloud City Metaverse, we are integrating AI into it. So the one application is, uh, I don't know. So there is a terminology called NPCs, non-playable characters. Mm -hmm. Uh, that are characters that interact with real users, right? So in our metaverse, these NPCs are going to be AI based. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we are also, since adding uh, multiple utilities, one of our utilities is that we are going to allow, uh, for example, a retail brand owner to build a, a shop or build a presence within the metaverse. And now they can also set up a salesperson that can be simply be an AI based bot mm -hmm. that can sell their products for them. So, you were always AI interested in AI or later interested in Because it's a, so when you, when you think of AI, um, it's a very jazzy thing, yeah. you know, artificial intelligence. Yes. And we have been hearing about artificial intelligence for quite a good time now. So, were you interested in AI forever? For or sure. Uh, I mean, I've always been inspired by technology in general and AI is something that really interests me. And that is why even in my bachelor's, I took, uh, there were multiple elective courses that they had to offer and I took uh, machine learning first and then AI. Mm -hmm. And then I also, you know, uh, watched a lot of documentaries while still in my bachelor's and even before that, for example, I loved the imitation games, the, mm -hmm. the movie based on Turing, mm -hmm. Alan Turing. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I've always been interested in AI and machine learning and uh, right now I think we're in the best space in artificial intelligence with chat gpt mm -hmm. everybody's talking about exactly, chat gpt you know, exactly even myself i every day i play around with it you know try something new aapko so. hamara challenge nahi pata you are sitting in an academic institute now we are wondering what would we do yeah. with plagiarism yeah yeah, yeah i can imagine because all the assignments will come from chat gpt, GPT yeah. and i would wonder in ki angrezi kaise achhi ho gayi but you know even with that it's still you have to you know kind of uh, give a kudos to the to the you know students that at least they are keeping up to date with technology at least they are making use of it i know it's not you know good uh, there, there's plagiarism of course but i still give them props that they're at least keep keeping themselves up to date with mm -hmm. the latest tech yeah you're right at least they are keeping themselves yeah. abreast with the technology um mujhe thoda sa baap ke bare mein janna hai i'm a bit inquisitive now that mashallah say in such a young age you are managing three companies yes. How are you doing this? Um, so it's interesting. Um, so we started our first startup, Nasa Studios, while we were still in university, right? Uh, we were in our seventh semester when we initially started, uh, but back then it was very casual. It was just freelancing. But in eighth semester, um, our, uh, so it was me and my partner, Umar Abbas. Mm -hmm. uh, we are the two partners in all these startups, right? Um, so in our eighth semester, uh, fortunately enough, our classes would start at around 12 p.m. and they would end around 6 p.m., right? So what we would do is we would go and attend classes in the morning in the university. And then from 6 p.m. till 12 a.m., we would st sit in a, in a one-room office space with one desk and two chairs. And then we would, you know, uh, at, uh, either try to get projects or if you already have projects, you know, execute them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we were already in, in, even when we were in our university, we were uh, already, you know, kind of um, very motivated to uh, build a startup. And because the both of us, we always wanted to do a startup. So funnily enough, 
the idea was that we would go out in the market for a year and you know get some experience for mm. a year and then go towards the startup journey mm -hmm. but we kind of went the route and started you know without any experience and alhamdulillah uh, it's been 7 years now uh, mm -hmm. for narsan studios uh, game struck we started in 2019 um, it was purely uh, a gaming uh, you know um, uh, company a startup that uh, was focused and is still focused in working on uh, games within pakistan as well and then um, we are also working on a very big title Uh, with another company from within Pakistan as well, we are working on a collaborative approach. It is not public yet, mm -hmm. uh, so I can't really yeah. you know say the name. But we are working on a a, a very go good strategy game uh, that is going to be one of the first out of Pakistan as well. It's a PC and console based game. Fantastic, doing a lot of work. Yeah. Um, another question is coming in my mind. Is it a very expensive thing to develop, uh, you know, these games? And these games are AI, AI based. Uh, and now, of course, you're talking about metaverse. Yep. Is it a very expensive project? Uh, yes, the metaverse is an expensive project because, it, at least for us, uh, since we're building. So, what is the expense? So, uh, like a layman person, because yeah. I'm not a computing student. Yeah, 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 sure. uh, so, what what is the expense? For sure. So, first of all, the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. uh, the team that you require and for specifically for us uh, the cloud city metaverse we're building it on unreal engine 5 okay and unfortunately in pakistan there are not a lot of uh, resources or talent for that specific uh, you know technology okay and that is why we have to train resources so we run a 3 month cohort every other quarter of the year where we hire fresh graduates uh, from different universities and we train them so when we are training them we are paying them we are not just <clears throat> you know bringing in fresh graduates mm -hmm. and not paying them for for 3 months mm -hmm. so we are we bring them in we pay them you know 60 70 80000 rupees a month mm -hmm. and they just learn for the first 3 months and even after the 3 months they are slowly brought into the project we can't just you know shove really big modules on them for mm -hmm. the project mm -hmm. so tech and talent is obviously one of the biggest uh, expenses and then marketing is one of the other expense that uh, you really have to you know cater because if you want to build a community around your project you need to do a lot of marketing yeah. so marketing is a big expense as well so um, you know when i think of technology and when i think of ai um, i also think that perhaps pakistan is like lagging far behind as you know that uh, about uh, 20.5 million students yeah. are not going into the school uh education standards are not very great yeah. so i don't want to demotivate anybody here but then what is the role of technology uh so um, let me say this that how can we use technology to overcome these challenges in education i think right now uh, i would highly advise anybody to you know fool around play around with chat gpt because chat gpt is free for anybody to use mm -hmm. uh, everybody has a mobile phone everybody has uh, you know internet ab hum 90s ya 2010s mein to reh nahi rahe ki internet ka access nahi hai logo ke paas anybody has internet i mean it would kisi remote gaon mein bhi chala jaye to wahan 3g zarur aa raha hoga and the funny thing about chat gpt is ki wo roman urdu bhi samajhta hai acha that yeah, i did if, not if know. you can uh, if you type roman urdu okay. it will respond you in by roman the way urdu. sorry to hold you here um the other day i gave an english uh, phrase to chat gpt and i yeah. asked uh, the translate in urdu it did, it did. better translation yes. than google, google translate exactly is it the google translation or is or so, is it so so the thing is that chat gpt has uh, it's basically machine learning right you give it a, a, a data set and it learns from it mm -hmm. तो अभी भी हम जो उसे दे रहे हैं ना फीड कर रहे हैं वो उसको उससे भी सीख रहा है सीख रहा है राइट दैट इज द द ब्यूटी ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग के अभी भी ये नहीं है कि वो तैयार हो गया हम उसे जो भी फीड कर रहे हैं वो उससे भी सीख रहा है तो इट इट इज एन एवर इवॉल्विंग टेक्नोलॉजी बेसिकली तो यस इट टेक्स इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम गूगल इट टेक्स इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर फेसबुक इट टेक्स इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम यू नो बिंग एज वेल एंड देन फाइंड्स द बेस्ट पॉसिबल आउटकम एंड गिव्स इट टू यू गिव्स इट इन सेकंड दैट्स अमेजिंग एग्जैक्टली and it's it's so engaging matlab wo likhta hua bhi dikha raha hota hai ki yaar ye is tarah se it it's it, it gives that vibe ke achar waqi mein koi likh raha hai mere liye bekho, bekho, bekho. so there's a very human aspect to it as well so i would suggest anybody jo log school nahi ja pa rahe i would still unse bhi meri request hai ye hogi ki yaar free hai na matlab pay bhi nahi karna padta there is a 
प्रो वर्जन शो जहाँ पे आपको पे करना पड़ता है बट फ्री वर्जन इज़ अवेलेबल एज वेल आप उसका मैक्सिमम फ़ायदा उठाएं आप उसके रोमन इंग्लिश में पूछ रोमन उर्दू में पूछें वो आपको जवाब देगा इंग्लिश में पूछें जवाब देगा आप उसे ट्रांसलेट करके आप इंग्लिश में पूछ के उसे कहें ट्रांसलेट करके मुझे बता दो वो भी बता देगा तो दे इज़ नो बड़ी स्टॉपिंग यू ना तो यू शुड टेक फुल एडवांटेज ऑफ इट आई एम श्योर सो Of course, I belong to the university, so I am thinking about the university. But the teachers who are uh, at the elementary level or at the secondary level, they can also use ChatGPT, and the sure. students can also yes. use it. Yes. Uh, Because, देखें, data set से बना ना, तो data set किसी मख़सूस उसके बारे में नहीं है. It the data set is about everything. Mm -hmm. वो elementary school हो, वो high school हो, वो middle school हो. वो हर चीज़ के बारे में जानता. True. ChatGPT. So anybody can pay, take advantage of it. Right. That. Um, is Chat GPT a threat to Google? It is. Okay. <laughs> and the funny thing about it is that Microsoft invested mm -hmm. heavily in Chat GPT, and now Microsoft owns Chat GPT basically. Okay. Uh, Chat GPT started as a, um, a startup that was meant to be open source, and anybody could use it. But since Chat GPT, uh, Microsoft invested heavily into it, so now Bing, that mm -hmm. nobody used, yeah. uh, you know, in the last decade, everybody preferred Google. But Bing is now integrating ChatGPT into their search engine, mm -hmm. and now maybe people are going to be, you know, inclined to using Bing, Bing. as opposed to Google. But sure. Google, in response to that, is coming up with their own AI called Bard. Okay. Um, so it's you know right now all these tech giants are um, in war on who is going to have the best AI. Best AI. And that's interesting. The thing about that is that. these guys are at war these are tech giants and because of this war they are going to be you know very competitive with each other and they are going to be coming up with better and better technology and it's the more fruitful for us we have talked about this uh, that uh, the students uh, can use chat gpt to improve themselves uh, but i would like to ask you this question that what do you suggest to the pakistani students to do what should they be doing to improve themselves in the world of ai and metaverse so the thing about our youth is that they are uh, inclined towards the wrong things right um they'll waste a lot of time watching tiktoks they'll waste a lot of time you know watching consuming content that is entertainment yeah that doesn't add any value to our you know life I mean, sure, everybody needs a bit of entertainment, but the thing about our youth is that they are they waste a lot of time in in you know these kind of things, these kind of activities. What I would suggest them to do is, you know, always upskilling yourself. Mm -hmm. You always there needs to be a drive to learn new things, uh, to stay up to date to what's trending in technology, because you can't uh, run away from technology. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody is using a smartphone so they are you know even when they are wasting their time watching you know uh, tiktoks they are still using the tech to do it mm -hmm. uh, but they can use the same tech to do something productive so i would suggest them to you know still you know watch tiktok limit a time all these phones now have the feature where you can set a limit i have it on my phone as well you set a limit on a particular application that you only want to use this app for let's say 2 hours in a day mm -hmm. one hour a day mm -hmm. and then after that you can't use the app uh at least unless you forcefully tell it to you know no i still want to use the app that's on you so what i would suggest um the young audience and the young students is to you know uh read uh good content um educate yourself about ai ml metaverse blockchain these are all the up and coming technologies and these are going to be the future mm -hmm. just like the internet uh was the up and coming thing back in the 90s and now everybody has access to it right the metaverse is going to be the future mm -hmm. 2030 by 2030 everybody is going to be on the metaverse one way or another mm -hmm. so now is the chance to read up on about it and find out how the metaverse can add value to your life how you can make a revenue out of the metaverse you were talking about e-commerce so daraz of course is one of the companies here and daraz has been very has become very popular yeah. lately so daraz can also go into metaverse yes they can they can okay. uh, we are already reaching out to uh, multiple brands uh, within pakistan internationally as well and we are bringing them in uh, on to the cloud city metaverse as well so hopefully uh, when we, right now we are in our pre alpha 
But when we launch, you are going to see a lot of brands that are already going to be in the Cloud City Metaverse. I'm waiting for it. Thank you. And UMT can be one of those brands. For right? sure, for sure. Okay. For sure. So we can have our innovation lab yes, in yes, your you Metaverse. Can. You can. Okay, that, that sounds very interesting. So audience, it was a very thought-provoking, very tech-oriented talk. And I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you. No Thank, you, Thank for you for being me. with us. Thank you for having Welcome. me. Welcome.